Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see, see a string program to accept a string and check the frequency of every vowel uh, in the string and you are going to display individually. So, uh, for example, you are going to accept a string and you are going to check whether uh, how many number of A's are available, how many number of uh, E's are available, how many number of I's are available, how many number of O's are available and how many number of U's are available. So, you are going to uh, count it individually and then you are going to display it. So in BlueJ, uh, we created a class, uh, Freak Vowels. Uh, in that, you got five variables being declared. Uh, we just uh, said that you are going to individually count how many number of uh, each vowels. So you have to have five different uh, vowel variables. So VA is for to, to store the frequency of A, VE to store the frequency of E, uh, VI to store the frequency of I and VO to store the frequency of uh, O and VU to store the frequency of U. All has to be uh, defined with the default value 0. And then you have to create a scanner object and then you are going to input the uh, word or a sentence. So you are not sure what you are going to input. So you can directly go for next line so that it accepts both whether it is a word or a sentence. It doesn't matter. It will accept it and it will be stored in STR. Now immediately you are going to find the length. Okay, str dot length will uh, dis uh, will return the length of the string and it will be stored in len. Now, based on the length, you are going to execute the loop. So, for i equal to zero, i less than len, i plus plus. So, this will be executed according to the number of uh, characters available in the uh, string str. Now, inside the loop, you can you can see a statement uh, ch equal to str dot char at i. Okay, so this character uh, this a statement will extract the character one by one and will be stored in ch and you can notice that uh, the ch has been declared locally here so the reason for it is uh, it is uh, it the ch is not being used outside the for loop it is used only inside the for loop so you can uh, declare it locally it doesn't uh, need to be declared outside it can be declared anywhere you want uh, according to the situation here in C, uh, this uh, variable ch is not uh, used outside you can see that it is not used anywhere outside the uh, for loop uh, block so you can declare inside locally okay now first statement is if uh, the first character uh, the position 0 i value starts from 0 so if the position 0 whatever character in the position 0 checks whether it is a okay so you can notice that you are going to check only the capital letters so that's the reason you are uh, giving the a message here enter the string in capital okay so we will uh, see what happens if we uh, give it in lower case also if ch is equal to uh, equal to equal to a that means if the character is a you are going to uh, increase the value of a va that is you are going to add the frequency by one okay if it is not equal to a it will go to the else part so else it will check whether e and uh, check whether it is equal to e if it is equal to e, it will increase the value ve Otherwise, it will go to the next part that is else if uh, ch equal to i. If it is i, then it will uh, increase the value vi. Otherwise, it will go to the else part. Uh, it will uh, check for uh, o. If it is o, then it will increase vo. And uh, if it is u, uh, that is if it is not uh, o, it will go to the else part. Uh, it checks for u. If it is u, it increases the value. If it is not any of these vowel, it is some other character it doesn't increase any value that is it doesn't increment any value it will directly go to the next iteration okay so it go to the second uh, character and checks the same thing it does the same thing uh, for all the characters till the end of the string after completing the loop we already have some values in these five variables so you are going to display it individually frequency of a is va going to be having the frequency of a that will be displayed then frequency of e which will uh, display uh, the value which is stored in ve then frequency of i which will uh, display the value stored in vi and frequency of o which will display the value stored in vo and frequency of uh, u uh, will display the value stored in vu okay so you're going to compile this so no syntax errors so you're going to close you're going to execute the program so right click on it uh, click on void main click ok now we're going to enter the string in capital letter so I am using caps lock on and then I am going to type uh, mom and dad met madam. Okay, just uh, sentence and press enter. Now you can see frequency of A is 4. So 4 times 1, 2, uh, 3, 4. 4 times A has been repeated. So frequency of A is 4. 
frequency of e is 1 so only once uh, e is been used that is uh, been entered in this uh, string and then frequency of i is 0 no i has been been entered and frequency of o is 1 so you can see once it is used and frequency of u is 0 so you are not used u here in this string suppose if you are going to uh, instead of capital letter if you type lower case by mistake you type some lower case say m o m and d a d met m a d a m so what happens here is you can you can see that it will only compare the capital letters so uppercase characters alone is compared if whether you use uh, lower case characters uh, how many other times it is not been included so what you can do is you can go to the program you can uh, include an or operator and then you can type uh, ch equal to equal to a small a okay you are going to compare both capital a and small a if suppose uh, your input has both capital letters and small letters if you want to check both then you can use this type of statements so i have done for all the other uh, statement also you can see that i have used or operator for e i o u also and i have been i included the lower case characters now i am going to compile this no syntax errors and now i am going to execute the program Okay, so I am going to give the statement, say uh, mom and I am going to give DAD in caps, uh, M, E, T, MET, uh, I am going to type madam in caps. Now you can see, uh, you can see the same result uh, which uh, came previously. Okay, so if you want to check both the capital letters and small letters, you have to use OR operator and check both. Okay. Uh, so that's all about this program hope you understood this program you can try out this program in the system uh, we'll meet in the next video till then thank you